class in this uh, video uh, we cover uh, page four uh, example five in your lecture note handout on section 4.1 uh, exponential functions and so we are going to graph uh, another exponential function in this video the exponential function f of x equals one-third to the x power and we do the same thing that we did in the previous video we're going to create a table of values and then we're going to calculate the corresponding uh, y value, right? So we're going to create table values. In the first column go the uh, values of x that we're going to use. In the second column go the y values or the uh, function values, right? The corresponding y values or function values for each value of x. And then for each combination of x and y, uh, we form the ordered pair, which is a point in the coordinate plane, a point that is on the graph of the function. And then we graph those points, plot those points, and then play connect the dots. So our values of x are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And so remember our function is um, f of x equals 1 third to the x power. And so when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1 third to the minus 2 power which is equal to 9, and so the point minus 2, 9 is on the graph of the function. When x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1 third to the minus 1, which is equal to 3, and so the point minus 1, 3 is on the graph. Similar, similarly, right, when x is 0, y is 1, so the point 0, 1 is on the graph. When x is 1, y is equal to 1 third, which is equal to 0.333, and so the point 0.1, one, point one point three, three, three is on the graph. And when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 ninth, or point 0.111. One, one, one. And so the point, so the point uh, 2, comma, point 0.111 one, one, one is on the graph. So down here, right, we have our five ordered pairs. And so we take those five order pairs or those five points and plot them in a coordinate plane, right? So here's the point uh, minus two nine, here's the point minus one three, right? And here's the point uh, two point one one one. So you can see on the left, uh, the graph goes up forever. And on the right, the graph flattens out. The further out we go to the right, um, the more the graph flattens out. It, uh, the further out you go, right, it gets closer to the x-axis without crossing or touching it. So the x-axis or the horizontal line y equals zero, again, is a horizontal asymptote.